Havoc at Norwalk, Bashbots returns, and we remember Grant Imahara. All this week in Robot Combat. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to this week in Robot Combat. Thank you once again for joining me. We start off with some news from BattleBots. Due to COVID-19, Maker Fair Miami will be online for the first time in the first ever virtual Maker Fair, and the Behind the Bots team have a very exciting interview in the works. They're working with Team Witch Doctor to interview some of the top BattleBots teams to do a Q&A, etc, etc, and you should be able to ask questions to the builders that they are going to be interviewing very, very soon. More details will appear on the Behind the Bots Facebook page. Team Tantrum this week showed off a video of their new self-writing system for the new version of Tantrum. This works really well and I've slowed it down, so sorry about that. Meanwhile, the Vanguard team, who brought Vanquish before, have shown off a new grapple and lift style robot. Grapple lift designs becoming more and more popular, as it would seem. And the Valkyrie team have shown off their lovely, lovely billets that should make up the chassis of the new Valkyrie robot in the next season of BattleBots. This is really, really awesome to see, going very, very quantum with it. And also, there's a lovely little dedication to Grant Imahara on the chassis as well. So that is beautiful. We'll keep you up to date on the Valkyrie build the more that they show off. Next, we turn to the live circuit. Last weekend saw a return for the featherweight robots in the arenas since lockdown happened. This was Robo Dojo Featherweight Sportsman Class, and the fight that you're seeing is between Matuk and Bread Dead Redemption, which is up there as one of the most effective knockouts we've ever seen as the removable link was simply removed by the axe. Sharp. There's more fighting on this weekend, and there'll be more to follow. Meanwhile, over in the States, we've seen Norwalk Havoc Robot League, the first event to happen since lockdown over in the US. Hosted by Jameson Go and Tim Bell, who we saw on Team Ribot last season. The event is really well run. There's a lot of cameras in the arena, including what appears to be a sort of RefBot house robot type thing that drives around, has a camera inside, so you can see all the close up action in the arena and can come and, I don't know, count out robots or, or just push them apart or something like that. It's very funky. It's got cool lights. It looks cool. I love it. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of this action later today as the action does continue on Norwalk Havoc's YouTube channel. In fact, if you head over to their YouTube channel just after this video, you should be able to see it live. Now let's take a look at what's happening online in the expanded media. Bashbots is back on the NJGW YouTube channel. Robots on Gary's Mod fight it out to take home the giant wrench. There have been two episodes so far, both part of the pre-season qualifying round. This has been awesome so far, so good to get back into it and it's actual robot combat kind of on YouTube so go and check it out. There won't be any spoilers as to who has won fights but I can tell you there have been some amazing fights so far so be sure to go and check it out and we'll take a look at the next fight card for the next episode which is on later today. We have GT Nyon versus Outlaw Evo, Tender Love is back against Rumble we also have Firewave against the goalie, and Amethyst will be taking on Blaze Odiscus. And tonight at 9 is the next episode of ESC, the Extreme Scrutiny Club. It's the new host special, somebody will be replacing Mitch. It's also called the Concept of Toron, all will become clear in the episode, but the competing contestants to become the new host are Two Penny Milk, Anderson9132, Chris Hart, Dominus Ignis, and myself. Now lastly, unfortunately at the start of this week we lost a true legend of the sport, BattleBots star, Grant Imahara. Grant competed on BattleBots between 1999 and 2002. His robot Deadblow progressed far in the shows, finishing runner-up in Season 1.0 Middleweight Championships and reached the Middleweight Quarterfinals in Season 2.0. He went 10-7 and in his career. Grant worked outside of BattleBots as well on The Lost World Jurassic Park, Star Wars Episode 1, Terminator 3, AI, Artificial Intelligence and Van Helsing. He would also work on the Matrix fan tries, including The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions. He helped to create Jeff Peterson, the robot sidekick on The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson and was also involved in the giant robot duel with Team Megabots. Grant was probably most loved 
for his work on Mythbusters, where he was one of the main cast for many, many years. Grant was so involved in lots of different projects that he was probably involved in something that you love and you had no idea. And though he was taken from us so very young, he led such a full life. And that's just about it for this time. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. And this one is for you, Grant. Goodbye.